let us read this word of god gospel of matthew chapter 9 verse 1 onwards gospel of matthew chapter 9 verse 1 onwards and after getting into a boat and after getting into a boat he crossed the sea and came to his own town he crossed the sea and came into his own town and just then some people were carrying a paralyzed man lying on a bed and just then some people were carrying a paralyzed man lying on a bed Je- when jesus saw their faith when jesus saw their faith he said to the paralytic he said to the paralytic take heart son take heart son your sins are forgiven your sins are forgiven my dear brothers and sisters jesus is healing a paralyzed man just looking at the faith of those who are around them if you are strong in your faith your family will be blessed if your faith is strong your family members will be healed if you are strong in your faith and believe and praise god you will see the miracles happening to your children your family members your husband your wife your parents if you are faithful if you have strong faith your prayers will be manifested as a mighty miracle in your life and jesus said take heart son your sins are forgiven verse 3 then some of the scribes and said to themselves then some of the scribes said, said to, to themselves, themselves this man is blaspheming this man is blaspheming verse 4 but jesus but jesus perceiving their thoughts perceiving their thoughts said said why do you think evil in your hearts why do you think evil in your hearts praise the lord praise the lord my dear brothers and sisters some people scribes they said he's blaspheming blasphemy means jesus said your sins are forgiven how can a human being forgive the sins of others they consider he jewish people consider this as a blasphemy therefore they could not accept this they were upset they thought how can he forgive the sins of others then jesus said you are thinking evil in your hearts every time when we have negative thoughts about god remember any time when we have negative thoughts god can hear it god can see it the lord is asking you and me why do you think evil in your hearts verse 5 for which is easier for to, which is easier to say to say your sins are forgiven your sins are forgiven or to say stand up and walk or to say stand up and walk Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And then Jesus said verse 6. But so that you may know, but so that you may know that the son of man has authority on earth to forgive sins. That the son of man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic. He then said to the paralytic. Stand up. Stand up. Take your bed and go to your home. Take your bed and go to your home. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus commanded the paralytic stand up, take your bed and go home. and immediately was 7 we read and he stood up and went to his home and he stood up and went to his home praise the lord praise the lord my dear brothers and sisters remember this mighty miracle that the lord has done in front of all his enemies who are not ready to believe in him therefore now as we come in the presence of god there are so many people who are not ready to believe what we believe there are so many people who are making fun of us for what what we believe there are so many people who are insulting us for but we believe the lord says if you have strong faith if you believe if you believe in jesus christ you and your whole family and all your surroundings will be blessed and healed praise the lord praise the lord